We made it to page 28. So um, here we're learning about a scale, which you guys play scales all the time, I'm sure. Um, so we're just talking about the concert B-flat scale, which is where you start on C, go to D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So then that C to C is the octave, which is what it talks about right here in the book. So let's go ahead and play it just how it's written on number 147, where we play C as a half note and then quarter notes, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then a half note for the C, and then back down the same exact way. There's a repeat at the end here, but I'm just going to play through it once. <laughs> but um, you guys can try it out. If you have like siblings that play instruments, you guys can play that one together, um, but I'm gonna skip over it for now. Um, we're gonna move on to 149. Um, this one, you play a scale, play it from C to C, just like you did in the previous exercise. And then, but when you come down, instead of playing the scale, you're gonna play the arpeggio, which is the 135 um, of the scale. So the one is the C, the third note is the E, and then the fifth note's the G, and then three is the E again, and then one is the C again. So let's go ahead and try that one out, number 149. Now we have number 150. This is the theme from Surprise Symphony. So um, at first glance, this one looks a little more complicated than what you guys have played before, but really the notes and rhythms are all what you've done before. Um, so you start out piano, there's a B flat in the um, key signature, 4-4 four, four time signature. Um, do notice at the end of the first line, it does go to a forte just for one note, and then it's back to piano um, in the next line. There is a crescendo um, in the middle of the second line uh, up to mezzo forte, and then you stay there for the rest of the song. So, let's go ahead and give this one a try. Essential Elements Quiz, The Streets of Loretto. You can go ahead and write in the notes. I did when I was a sixth grader, so I have them written in here. Um, but you guys can go ahead and do that. Um, it starts at mezzo forte. It starts at mezzo forte. There's a B flat in the key signature here. There is a pickup note. So you'll count one, two, three, play that on four, and then pick up um, in the first measure there with that dotted quarter note. Um, no rhythms you haven't seen before, no notes you haven't seen before. There um, is a repeat, so you'll play through the first um, ending there, um, repeat back to the first measure, play through, skip that first ending, and go to the second ending when you play it through the second time. So let's go ahead and play this one. page 29 so number 152 here is called school spirit and the first thing that stands out to me here is that it's in march style and i don't know if mr kuznos talked to you guys about this before but march style is always very short very separated so um whatever you can put space between the notes make sure to do that um we always talk about there are some dotted quarter notes here you can always kind of cut that off and um play it shorter so it's da 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 yeah instead of da 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 so um go ahead and try that out it is in 2-4, so there are two beats per measure. Um, there's a B-flat in the key signature here, but watch out for accidentals because there is a B-natural in the first measure. Um, we also have measure numbers, um, but I'm sure you guys have seen those before in the pieces you've played in band class. Um, they just kind of make it easier to see what measure you're on with longer songs. 
um, there's a repeat. So you'll start at, at measure five, there's a repeat. So you'll play all the way through the first ending and then go right back to measure five, play through, skip that first ending and end with that second ending. So let's go ahead and give this one a try. This one's called the Carnival of Venice. Um, it's, an, it's a band arrangement, so I'm sure it would sound a lot cooler if you have your whole band playing it, but we are at home, so you're going to play it by yourself. Um, unless you have siblings, then you can play it with your siblings, which is fun too. Um, so this introduces the term soli, which is like a solo, except it's like a solo for your whole section. So it kind of like features um, like the trumpet section or clarinet section, flute section, whatever. Um, so it's not just one person playing, it's the whole section, but you're featured like a solo. So... Um, this one's allegro, so it's kind of quick. Um, it's in 3-4, so three beats per measure. Um, I don't really see any accidentals. Um, there's nothing in the um, key signature, but do watch out for um, some accents in there and um, changes in, in dynamics. So start off at mezzo forte, and let's give this one a try. I'm just going to skip over the rests because I'm not going to count out eight measures of rest. On page 30 we have some daily warm-ups so I'm just gonna go through and play these for you guys um, number 154 55 and 56 and I'll just play them back to back <laughs> Next up, number 157, we have the Israel National Anthem. So this one, we have a B-flat in the um, key signature. We have a 4-4 four, four time signature. Um, we do have a first and second ending in the first line. So after that second ending, you're going to move on to the next line, measure 6, and then just play through to the end. <laughs> page 31 now we have a rhythm wrap um, which you guys can go ahead and clap through if you would like to but number 159 is the same rhythm as that so um, you just have notes to play um, so you can go ahead and clap through that um, but it gives you the rhythm in number 159 as well so um, the tough rhythm there I guess is measure three three and four and then seven and eight so uh, you just have a quarter note and then a quarter rest quarter note quarter rest so that's actually pretty simple. I know it might look a little tough because maybe you haven't seen it before, 
but the notes are actually on one and two, but you rest on the ends of the notes. So if you're tapping your foot, you should only be playing while your foot is touching the ground. And then the and is when it's off the ground. <laughs> so uh, that's when you're resting, that's when those quarter rests are. So let's go ahead and play through number 159. Watch out for that F sharp in the uh, key signature and then the 2-4 time signature. It's only two beats per measure. And there is a repeat at the end, so you can go ahead and repeat if you would like. So number 160 is called Minuet. Um, it is 3 4, so 3 beats per measure. Starts off as a mezzo forte. There is a first and second ending. So um, after that first ending, you'll go back to the beginning, play through it, and then play through the second ending and end there. So I will go ahead and play through this one for you guys. <laughs> So we are on number 161 and 162. Number 161 is another rhythm rap, which is um, basically the same rhythm as what will be in number 162. So um, you can try to clap that one out, um, but it also gives you the numbers and stuff too. So it makes it pretty simple. So number 162 and 161 introduces eighth notes off the beat, which is a little bit tougher because in the previous rhythm rap, it was um, like the eighth notes were on one and two and then the rests were on the ands. But instead, now on this one, there um, the actually like, number two will be on um, the rest. So then you play on the and, which makes it a little more difficult. So if you're tapping your foot, it's like um, when your foot is up off the ground, that's when you're playing. And then when it's on the ground, when it's hitting the ground, that's when the rest will be. So one and, 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 and. So if you keep that in your mind, keeping those ands in mind, it'll make it a lot easier to play through this. So, uh, number 162, we do have a B-flat in the key signature, common time, um, repeat at the end if you'd like to do that. Um, let's go ahead and try to play this. Make sure you try to clap it out beforehand, but I'm going to let you guys do that on your own. Now, number 163, same thing here, using that same... Um, eighth note off the beat sort of thing. Um, we have the eighth note scramble. So uh, you play on one, rest on two, but play on the and of two. So it'll be one and three, four for that first measure there. So let's go ahead and give that one a try. We do have a B flat and a key signature. <laughs> essential elements quiz um, we do have some eighth notes on the beat some eighth notes off the beat here so you'll have to pay attention to that and where those rests are at so for example in the second measure it's like that first rhythm wrap exercise where they're on the beat so we have one rest on and play two rest on and but then on um, measure three and measure the last measure second to last measure we have um, eighth notes off the beat like in the previous two exercises so um, we do have an F sharp, it's in 2-4, so there are two beats per measure. Um, there's a crescendo, um, third measure to the end, starting off at piano. So we should be increasing in dynamics throughout the whole thing. Let's go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> 